The Indiana Department of Health is hopeful they'll have COVID-19 vaccine for kids soon. That's why they're extending their clinic at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway through November 20th. They offer vaccinations and testing at that clinic. Uh, just head to the Indy car parking lot along 16th Street, access from gate two. But they're also changing up their hours starting next week, beginning November 2nd. They'll be open from 4 until 8, Tuesday through Friday and Saturday from 8 to noon. If you'd like to go there, you can make an appointment online. Verify here with your fast fact. The FDA authorized booster shots for all three COVID-19 vaccines last week. That prompted a lot of questions from Verify viewers, especially those who got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. So let's verify. Are most people who received the J&J &J vaccine now eligible for a booster? These are our sources. More than 15 million Americans received J&J's one-shot COVID-19 vaccine, the vast majority of whom received it by early summer, according to the CDC. The manufacturer says a real-world study shows a 75% efficacy at preventing severe COVID-19 symptoms, but research shows getting a booster at least two months after the first shot boosts the efficacy to 94%. The results were reviewed by the FDA and CDC, which authorized the booster for everyone 18 and older last week. So it's true. Most people who receive the J&J &J vaccine are now eligible for a booster, and it doesn't just have to be J&Js. The agencies also authorized getting one from Pfizer or Moderna. With your Fast Fact, I'm Brandon Lewis. Here in Indiana, at least 310,000 Hoosiers have received a COVID booster shot. We also know another 2,800 Indiana residents are considered fully vaccinated against the virus. That brings the total to more than 3.35 million. And now take a look at the state's COVID numbers. More than 1 million people have tested positive for COVID-19 and more than 16,000 Hoosiers have died.